Okay, going live. Where's Mark? I don't know. Hey, Mark, we're going live. I need you in the shed, Mark. Going live in the shed. We got two minutes yet. No, I'm live now. We well, have two minutes. I mean, you said four o'clock. Have you been watching Avengers? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're going live for an hour. Watch it later. All right, this is Brian Young, ProTinkerToys.com. We're going live. We got all the comms up. Comms are up. I just sold another. Hey, go upstairs and get me one of those uh, Chariot RC cars right next to the bedroom, the green ones. That really cool one. It just it, sold. It's in the bunker or? No, right be before you get into the ba bedroom. The Boros. Storm Chariot Buggy, 4x4, four four, the green one that we did a demo on Saturday. <laughs> you know what? You know what's really hard is to get good help. <laughs> People that understand the human language, you know, you know, just basic English, like, hi there, you know. Now, which one are you talking about? Talking about the boards? The boards? Yes. Subatech. Subatech! I just sold another one. Those are great RC cars, guys. Of course, you know what the biggest problem is? Is sending them to the the communist state of California. Hey, Mark, uh, he's not happy right now. Mark, Mark, people wanted, they weren't asking, where's Mark? And hey, right, Antonio said, hey, Brian, I'm here with you. I'd like to, uh, I'd like the Red Bull Carrera. Say hi to them. They want to say hi. My son's all upset because he was outside in the house with David watching the Avengers. Yes. I gotta put this in front of the camera so I'm not looking at myself. That's the problem when you when you look, have the camera screen, you have a tendency to look at you, and um, you gotta look at the camera, which is important. Okay, okay. So we're gonna demonstrate that set here in a minute. So we're gonna get that. Help me get that out. And put that together. Okay. You can stand over there, and they want to see you and say hi. So Ant Antonio Smith is online with us. Okay, we got a couple questions here that people have been asking, and so I want to answer them the best way I can. Uh, shipping delays because of the Corona. Once you uh, you put in mail out of our hands. Uh, sorry. Hope. Okay. There is. Uh, <clears throat> that's the green one. Yeah, that's the green one. No, but this is the green. The green one. Yeah, the board. No, they can't see over there. Okay. Right. Well, we're on this camera right here. Okay. That one's not up yet because it's over there. Okay, I understand that. But this anyway, is the green one. What, yes, that's what they that's what they were. Okay. Oh. You got to go at these wires. Why do you have to watch what you're doing? So here's the green one. So this is what they ordered right here, the Boros here. Put that over there. We're gonna wrap that here, but later. Okay. Oh now you smile, okay? Come on. He's smiling. All right, the Boros, so, um, the, the Boros shipping screen. delays, you know, when you place your order for me, if you place an order during the week, we try to get it out within the same day. Alright, we try. Alright. On the weekend, we don't do any shipping on Friday after 4 o'clock, Saturday, or Sunday. I'm doing a Terrence Williams imitation. These are great. Uh, Cheetos popcorn. Oh, okay. God. Give it, get, get. Mm. <laughs> All you do is eat. Right there. Antonio Smith, hey, your son there to help. Nice guy. Great help. There, yeah, say hi to him. Come here and say hi. Give me a hug and I'll So anyway, when you place your order, you're not... Yeah, on Saturday and Sunday, it doesn't ship till that Monday. Okay, so that's going to be the delay. Now, with the coronavirus, there is a two or three delay... Coronavirus. That's going to... Well, the crony virus. Crony, crony, crony virus. Three, what delay? There could be a three up to three day delay. Overseas is going to be a cup to week. I had a guy order a car last week. I shipped it, and like two days later, he goes, "Where is it?" I go, "Do you realize your car is going all the way to England, and you're asking me where is it?" All right, so that's another question. All right, we just got Beisman uh, Uffenzler seventy six. Always, always so classy. I know we try to be. <laughs> All right, ah. I try to be glad. Okay, and then the next question is, people are asking me uh, also, 
Uh, they want to know, why won't we be getting any AFX blackout sets back in stock? Well, first of all, they were a limited, uh, limited. They hadn't been made, they had, those sets had not been made since 1985, I think. And there was just a limited number of them. And so they're gone. All the Tomy AFX sets that I have listed, there's limited quantities of it. Less than 50. Limited quantities. Limited quantities. So if you want one, you better get one now before they're all gone. Correct. Because Less than 50 in the world. Because it's limited. Yeah. All right. So the next question is, I know Limited means they're dirt. Oh, you got a question? Hey, give me a... Okay. So this is an X... Uh, this is a X-Traction car. Okay. But it's a five gear. And some people say, hey... Uh, um, I noticed that some of the extraction cars have triple the speed. They are. They're more fast. I mean, they are a faster car than a Thunder Jet, okay? And it, it takes a little time and practice. That's why you should always... I like... See, I grew up on Thunder Jets. They were a slower car, but they were fun. They were just... You, they had this little speed dial. You just turn it on, and you could go, all right? And so that's why they're a slower car than your, uh, then they came out with X-Traction. Then they came out with, you know, Mag, uh, uh, Tyco's 440 X2s, you know, a, a thousand uh, scale miles. No car goes a thousand miles, people. You want to sit in this chair? No. You no, know, so you sit here. that's the reason um, home set up. Yeah. that people had questions. <laughs> yeah, and so, you know, if you have yeah. questions, uh, you always send them to me or send them out. So what we're going to do, okay, Dan Ellis. Uh, when I buy stock cars, uh, how do I know when I know where, uh, where they manufactured? Well, okay, so this is a, a discussion we were having with my brother today, all right? Uh, hey, uh, go get me, um, hold on yeah. a second, I want to get a car. I wouldn't know where it's at. You want me to do the right questions because it's hard for you to read. Okay, so where are all the slot cars made? Unfortunately, they're made in China. Ooh. Ooh. Nothing should be made in China anymore. That's my opinion. Bring it all back to the United States because in the 1960s, most of it was made in the U.S. or it was Hong Kong or Taiwan. Uh, Taiwan. All right, Those I don't have a problem with. Hong Kong, Taiwan, I don't have a problem with. Okay, But since Hong Kong is part of China, no. Put everything in, in Hong Kong. So here's the deal on making a car, all right? Molding the plastic is not the expense. Seven. You can buy a, a injection molding machine and boom, they pump the cars out. The chassis are pumped out. I know a guy, matter of fact, the guy that makes the rubber band guns that are sitting up here in the city, he's got an injection mold machine. If I wanted him to injection mold the uh, car part, hey, you know what? That's just, what I was asking you. I just thought of that. I could get parts made from him and he can make my parts. I never thought of that. I was thinking about that, but you were just... All right, so no, he wasn't thinking. See, one thing my brother does not do, and that is think, okay? He only reacts. All right, so anyway, ah, the cost ah, of yeah. this car is really in the temple printing and the assembly. All right, so, and this is how everything is made in China, all right? And I explained this in the video on Sunday, is that you have, you have, you have, you have a factory. Just think about this. You have a factory that has... Uh, giant rows of seats, okay, as as probably as long as a football field, maybe two football fields, nah. and um, football you have field. you have basically three three schedule or or uh, uh, what what is it a, a work um, schedule not shifts schedule. shifts you have three Good shifts of gravy. Chinese. You each have ten thousand Chinese in each shift. Five. So that is uh, that is basically thirty thousand Chinese. That's 15. for the iPhone. That's for the iPhone alone. Because believe it or not, this little device, this uh, Nexus, it was assembled, hand assembled, okay, by Chinese. All right, so you're gonna have you're gonna have ten thousand Chinese. They're gonna grab a car chassis and they're gonna put a motor in. Then he's gonna move it to the next guy, which is gonna put the guide blade. The next guy is gonna put the tires on. The next guy is going to then take the body on, maybe screw it on. All right, there within probably. Uh, We'll say five minutes at the max, you're going to have 10,000 cars finished, all right? Now, they're paying them $2 an hour, all right? That's why. Now, back in the 60s, our minimum wage wasn't as high as it was now because our employers didn't have to 
pay all the expenses to keep people uh, in work. Plus, the standard of living was cheaper. Do you realize that a hamburger in McDonald's in the 60s was about 25 cents? I'm not interested. Yeah, see, he doesn't want to understand because a customer asked me why, how, how do you know, how do you know if I'm buying a car, a car manufactured years ago? Okay, Dan Ellis, how do you know if you're buying a new car or manufactured years ago? All right, so here's the history of slot cars in generally, okay? Most of my cars that I'm selling have been made from 2018 to 2000, uh, maybe 1999. Those are the years of most of my cars. About 5% is made from 2000 to uh, I have maybe five cars that were made in the 90s. All the Matchbox cars were made in the 80s, 90s. Some of the cars were made, you know, all those Pulaski cars. Those were all made in the late 60s. Yeah, I I saw a box here. How do you increase production? Uh, how do you how do you increase production in China? And more uh, and more and more seats. I thought there was one that was how, yeah, how do it. you increase oh, production yeah. in China? Yeah. For, you know, bring pack down. Which one is it? Is Hi, it Brian. Enjoying the video. Great. Well, I'm trying to figure out this question. He says, how do you increase production in China? Question. And more seats. I don't... Get, well, we need more seats. Okay, I got... Uh, Bassman, you got to explain that one to me. That one, I'm way over my head. You want me to, want me to read it? Yeah, you can read if you want. This one right here, Bassman, says, how do you... Oh, I see. How oh, do you yeah, yeah, right. It? Okay, yeah, go ahead and explain <laughs> that one. I said, just how do you increase production in China? What's well, that? more seats? That's what he's asking. Yeah, you increase exactly. production. That's it. Okay. That's a very simple question. Oh, gosh. Yes, that's exactly the, That's exactly how you produce. But, see, the, the, on this car right here, the minimum production is 3,000. They have to buy 3,000 at a time because it's... You you have to set up everything so so three thousand is the minimum on this production. Now on the iPhone it's a million. They're making a million every every production, and same thing with uh, round two. See everything in the round two set. Okay, the hand throttles the most of it is plastic injection mold, which are no components and can be made in the United States with very little cost. It's this little guy that would increase the cost of the set. But I still believe that they could bring these into the United States. Uh, and 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 keep up production and keep the price low because you've got the cost of shipping it back and forth. Plus, I think that you could get deals from from the state and all that, giving you tax breaks. Uh, I I really do. I oh, yeah, just new machinery, the development of new machinery. Okay, well, here he here he's talking again. No, just uh, yeah, the... Tim, you should be the one reading. Ah, uh, <laughs> Lincoln. <laughs> no automation. Just more. See, we need more. We can do automation. Develop machinery that can do that, crank them out. Well, out. no. The problem is you cannot have, there's not a machine that can take this car and screw in the screws, attach the tires, uh, attach the motor. That is really labor intensive. Oh, yes. That I okay. understand. I'm talking about No, no you don't. I mean, I'm talking about the making. Yeah, I do understand. I'm talking no. about the making. The See, it's just, <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> You like the smell? Oh, oh yeah. baby. Yeah, well, not in my ear, you idiot. <laughs> so this message <laughs> retracted. Okay, Bassman just retracted a message. <laughs> no, he's rewriting it. Oh, you're rewriting it? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this That's what that means. Here, They're trying this is labor intensive. You gotta put the gears in, you gotta put the brushes in, the gear I mean everything. So this is a labor intensive car. But it can be done, I think, in the United States. I oh, absolutely. that's my opinion. Absolutely. I've always said it from the very from the beginning that this, I, this, I think I think China's overrated. I think what 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 they've done to us is criminal, and I don't think we should buy another thing from China. Now we're in a position that yeah we are still buying things from China, but I think that our manufacturers need to start looking at bringing stuff either into Mexico uh, or into other countries that are outside of China. It's the new re manufacturing revolution. It has to be. That's what it is. We okay, had the so industrial revolution. Just... We had the printing press revolution. Okay, Ron Bird. Gardner. Okay, Ron Gardner's back. Our buddy Ron Gardner. Hey, get our. He hadn't seen our car. Get our car. Oh, yeah. 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 After, yeah. Ron, after Ron Gardner told us about the red, the red uh, uh, Batmobile, we painted the red Batmobile for Ron Gardner. Okay. We painted the black one, you Can you order less than three thousand if if they are unpainted? 
and unassemble? Yes, you can. You can order as many as you want, uh, and, and, and that's a good way of doing it, okay? Uh, it's all in a production and in, in, in how you're uh, complicating the, 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 the production line. Well, you don't have a wire lane in front where you're walking. I, so, I Ron, seen... that is the uh, Mustang uh, or the uh, Batmobile that we painted for you. We've got that listed on ProTinkerToys.com. You painted these, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, they look ugly. No, they look sweet. I just oh, got to get the white walls. God. Does anybody have any white wall tires for this? No, we do not have white wall. Okay, so that you can take that away. Okay, who keeps tweaking me? That's Mark. All right, so let's see. Can you order less than 3,000? Yeah, 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 we can. Um, would uh, Quality would not be as good if robots did it. Yeah, well... Uh, yes, but to, to assemble this car by a robot, the machine would cost you millions. I saw it. Okay, so he already saw that. We did that. That was a waste of time. All right, so what we're doing is we're going to show you a. <laughs> we're going to show you. Ron is now being a, 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 a jerk. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, they, Ron. They're going to block him. Yeah, we're going to block you, Ron. <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you a set that I that I uh, uh, assembled. This is just a cheap, inexpensive race set. Okay, it's an HO Auto World set because I bought a ton of their zombie sets. It's not sets. A cheap, it's less expensive. Less expensive. And I bought a ton of their zombie sets and I've been breaking them up and selling the, the um, taxi cab separately, which are very popular. But I have all this track and so I said, well, you know, I have all these tracks and I bought out Auto World's all of their kit cars. You know, they had all of They had like a thousand cars. I said, I'll take them. I want them. And I'm telling you, that's the best move I ever made because they are really popular. People are just... Uh... Hey, Mark, go upstairs and get me another one of uh, the uh, Lord of the Rings sh sailing ships, um, the pirate ships uh, that are in the bedroom. You know what I'm talking about? No. This one right here. I got like three three of them left. The Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just sold another uh, my Legos. I'm going to be selling all my Legos over the next couple weeks. We're going to list all of our Legos. Oh my God, um, this forever. So Dan Smith, let's see here. Um, Orwellian is alive in Manhattan. <laughs> uh, I got that. Oh, you did? Yeah. This is Manhattan, not Cabal. Okay, so anyways, I've got these sets and or all these parts, so I decided to put a set together, and I call it Kit versus uh, uh, Kit versus Bandit. You know, the Smoking the Bandit versus Night Riders Kit. Okay, and so I have a ton of those cars, but I have a ton of tracks, so I, I just put a nice little simple set together. It's a great price. Check on ProTinkerToys.com. It's a great price. Yeah, that's it. But I don't need that here. Go put it over there. Thank you, little boy. Good boy. Hey, pull up your pants. I don't want to see your butt sticking in my face. It's okay. All right. So what we're going to do is my son and I, we are going to, I'm going to switch this camera and then Ryan, uh, Tim's going to take over the questions. Uh, the, um, questions. The questions. Very and simple. I'm going to move over to the, the table. The table. That's going to happen in about two seconds on the live stream. Let's check it, see if it's mm. happening. It did happen. Okay, so it's switched over. It's great. switched over. Get All right. And right. this is the Boss. Okay, the Boss I RC the car. Boss. Back a little bit. Boss. You don't have the whole table. I don't want to go too far back because then you can't right see there. what I'm doing. Right on the edge. I can see well enough. Okay, so... Uh, while he's getting set up, this is um, this is the race set. Basically, you're getting um, you're getting two cars. You're getting the Night Rider and the kit. All the parts that are in this set are brand new. Okay, you get guardrails, and uh, this is the uh, this is the diagram. Oh, and I found uh, a software program so that you can design your own layout. And it's called, it's called, uh, hold on, right here. Ouch. It's called Unlimited Racer. 
Unlimited Racer 3.0. So go online. It's Unlimited Racer 3.0. We'll send a link to it. It's about fifteen dollars U.S. But it, it has all your layout. Whatever company you own of a race set, you can build a, lay, a layout. Okay. So that's why I got and made a nice desi design for the for the layout. It's basically an offset figure eight. So we're gonna build this here real quick. Okay, Mark, so you're going to take care of the curves. Tony said perfect camera shot, fellas. Perfect camera shot. Go move so it. So we are going Unless to... Unless you uh, bumped it. Did you bump it One, two, three. Uh, three and then two. Three and then two. Look, three and then two. What? Three and then two. Oh, Look, three curves and then two. Here, I'll do the... Put these two at that end, and then a straight... Gonna go like this, a straight gonna go like this, straight gonna go like that, like that. So this is basically just a simple oval or fi offset figure eight. Uh, you get two cars, you get two extra str uh, uh, straights. I'm throwing in two free straights for the deal, and uh, it's a great little um, starter kit that you can just race with your kids at home and then you can add this set you can add this set to any other layout that you have you got that going the wrong way there partner oh. Oh. put that here connect that to there and then put some supports under here like this look do a couple supports like this. So it comes with um, a little piece of sandpaper. And what you always want to do with your track after you've had a while, is just give it a nice little sanding. What it does, it shines up that track because this track has been made in China. And it, you know, it's been oxidizing, coming overseas. So these are your supports. Put a couple of those underneath and then um, put these guardrails on. This is just a fun starter set. It's just uh, a, a, an addition to what you already have. If you want to add more track to your layout, this is a good way of getting it. <sighs> Why do these little things... Okay, so I just tore that really hard and normally these break when I don't want them to break. And now I'm trying to break them, and they won't break. Go figure that. So, uh, that is... Now, we're going to offer this demo set. People are loving my demo sets. We're going to open up the cars. Hey, take... Uh, go get me a, a exacto blade. Here, get these... No, you got to get one... I oh, know that's good enough, man. Plug in the uh, hand throttles, and then the power cord is right there. Plug it in over there. Don't cut that on the. Um, yeah, be careful how you cut that. Antonio said it's a perfect camera shot, fellas. So I guess we got a good angle, but it looks like we got just a shade off the table. It's interesting. What okay, so you're getting two cars. You're getting the uh, night or kit rider, the kit uh, night rider. Yes. I know. Watching this while I was in the navy. And then, then you get the smoking the bandit car. Really it's beautiful. Smoking the bandit. Yeah. But just painted different. No, that's the that's the smoking the bandit car. It was black. Oh, you got that plugged in, all power hooked up? There's the power cord right there. All right, oh, then you got Smokey and the Bandit. Okay. Now you understand? That's the opposite of the other show. What other show? I can't remember. Oh, my gosh. Did it knock everything over, Mark? No, but the pin's fall. He shot it down. Be careful. Okay, so this comes with your guardrails. Anton Smith said, beautiful up close. 
that car was beautiful up close. They're nice cars too. They run really good. Go ahead and test out the cars, Mark. The camera angle with the perspective, with a foreground, middle ground, background, and then must be the lens itself. But it's, uh, your your midsections look huge. What are you talking about? Midsections. What what midsection? Your midsection looks huge. Where? With this camera angle. Okay, let's get a little close here. Well, you lost the front then. No, I didn't. We're gonna go away here. Got to get back. I mean, you can go up high, but you got to get back because the front of the table. Okay, you're. That's okay. Ooh, that sounds good too. Okay, get guardrails. Guardrail it. I wonder why that lighting is in this. It's dark right there. Let me see if I can fix the light. Ah. So these are just uh, basic, you know, you're, uh, I'm just trying to offer inexpensive sets for people, um, you know, so they can have a fun set, um, and, and uh, they're not that expensive. I think I got these down for like 89 I think. Oh, baby, that's fast. Ooh, you can't go that fast off the backside. Now the Batmobile can run on this one? Yeah. Oh no, I finally turned. Those are cute. Just, I told you you can't go that fast right there. Now, one thing you can do with Auto World is you can take your transformer Turn it around, and now your cars will go the other direction. That's a very unique feature. I think somebody. Well, that's pretty cool. No, nothing. Just beautiful up close. So that is the uh, Night Rider. Oh, this is the Night Rider. Um, hey, take my uh, take my Batman for a spin, just to see what it looks like. This is the Night Rider. Uh, uh, Smoking the Bandit set. Ooh, yeah, where's my Batmobile? I want to take it for a spin. Where'd you put it? You find it? <laughs> See? This is really cool. Be careful that wire. Go ahead, set up. Look. Oh yeah. Whoa! Easy, easy, easy! I know. Oh my gosh, that guy can spin. Oh, you're catching up to the... I'm barely even pressing the button. Whoa, that thing's hugging good. Woo! I like that red better than the black. I might get a manufacturing up and start pumping them out red. Whoa! Oh, there he goes. Spilled out. So this is about 13, uh, no, it's actually 15 feet of track when you're getting the two, because I'm throwing in two free straights. Anton said, my Android is getting perfect views, perfect lighting, guys. Uh, so you're getting an extra uh, two feet of track, which makes it 15 feet of track. You're getting two cars, barrier supports. Uh, you get a lot more support, so if you want to do some more creative things, you can. If you buy two of these sets, you'll have twice the layout, and you really can really do some fun things with it. Uh, and this is a four-by-eight sheet of ply that or plywood that it's setting on. So you got, as you can see, you've got plenty of more space to do more layouts, okay, or more uh, uh, creative ideas. What happened? What happened? They jumped lanes. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Why is it on my lane? So, the so this is the SRS 500. This is the SRS 500. Here's the item name and all that. Oh, it's yeah. the uh, Bandit and Knight custom set. Nice set. This is, uh, I think it's $89 if I'm not. Uh, don't quote me. And this set is going to be, uh, we're going to list this later today. This will be a, a demo set. And the price of this will be $50. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> 50 
Yeah, I'm crazy. You gotta be kidding! I just want people to get into slot cars. Fifth, that's like forty nine ninety nine. I know, I know, I it's know. Gonna, it's, now is it gonna say forty nine ninety nine or fifty? It'll say fifty dollars. Okay, fifty dollars. Fun for the buck. Yeah, fun for the buck. So this is a fun for the buck set at fifty dollars. At fifty dollars. Now I'm gonna switch the camera because uh, I want to talk about some things, uh, other things that are going on, and I I want to. Uh, so I'm gonna need my chair back. You, you want me to leave? Well, you can stand behind me and, and be annoy me if you want. <laughs> Uh, because I want to bring the other camera over here. Here, why don't you see if you can get, uh, if you want to lower that, see if you can get that screen. Get that screen there. Okay, so this is, this is the new, uh, it's not new, but it's available. It is the uh, Ultimate Track uh, 3.0, and you can basically design your own layout, okay? So, this is the design that I made up for this thing. So what we're going to do is I just really want to, uh, I want to open, let's see, open. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do here. Uh, let's see here. What layout? Um, I just got it, so I haven't gone into too much detail. But um, if you're wanting to make your own layout, um, um, see, it has track laps and all that. It's really a pretty cool program. It's $15. It's not that bad. Um, uh, yes. Uh, no. Okay. Now I have to open it up again. Um, track planner. Where is it? Uh, oh, why is this happening to me? Whenever I want to do something live... Um, uh, let's see here. Where did that go? Well, I'm going to have to switch here until I can figure that out. We're going to switch the camera back to me. Okay. So what we're going to do. Okay. So basically it's called track planner, ultimate track planner three. And, uh, you know, so if you have uh, Ninko, you have Carrera, Scale Electric, uh, any track plant, you can make your own plant. Now, let's see, what did Ron say? Well, I used, it used to be free. You can uh, find it uh, the old, yes, you can get it free, but you can only use up to 25 pieces of track to make your layout. So any more than 25 pieces where you're connecting it, then you have to pay for the upgrade, okay? I have unlimited uh, size of layout. Okay, um, watching from Canada, West Coast. Great. Thank you very much, Graham. We appreciate you joining in on us here at uh, ProTinkerToys.com. We just set up a layout. Uh, it was called the SRS 500. It is the uh, uh, Smoking the Bandit and the uh, uh, Knight Rider kit car. You can go ahead and pack that up now, uh, Mark. Try to get everything back in the original boxes if you possibly can. We, um, we had a couple questions here earlier about um, um, my, my son had said uh, we had some people about uh, free kit cars, uh, one of those shipping. We've already shipped a bunch of the kit cars. Here's what you need to do. If you've not received your kit car, okay, from when we did the podcast. Now, please don't send me an email if you still want to free, but you've never watched the video. But if you didn't get your kit car from the video that we said in the video that if you were watching at that time you got a free kit car, please don't request one if you didn't watch. I just, I don't want to send out a thousand cars if I don't need to. But if you haven't gotten your yours based on that video or that live podcast, send me an email saying, Brian, here's my address. I didn't get my car because I sent out about 20 of them last Friday. Okay, or not 20, maybe 10 of them. The next thing is we've noticed that the extraction cars have triple the speed. Uh, where I can't control the speed with the controller, 
No more, uh, no more do you know what the cause that, it, they're just faster cars and you have to learn to drive them slower than another car like a, a Thunder Jet. Yes, control. Okay, uh, we're, uh, we're in, uh, let's see, uh, Antonio Smith, I'm trying to, uh, to get slot cars uh, racing back in Detroit. Uh, well, Ron uh, Gardner is from Detroit. He's got a huge, uh, um, uh, a huge track, uh, and so that might be a good contact to An Antonio Smith and Ron Gardner. Um, and uh, so those are some questions uh, that we had that people had asked me about shipping, shipping delays, uh, and that's because of the coronavirus. And they also asked me about the uh, let's where see. in Detroit. Um, I Westgate don't know. 196 and Greenfield. And Greenfield. Okay, so... I-96 and Greenfield. So Detroit is set up in miles. Uh, it's it's uh, right there. Uh, and so for like 20 miles... West side I-96. 9 miles, 7 miles, 6 miles, 5 miles. Because when they were building the city in the 60s and the 50s, yeah. they were, it was it was being built faster than they could build the roads. So they decided just to ro ro lay roads east to west, about 100 miles of them going yeah. west... So, hey, let's just make roads every mile, and then we'll connect them by a grid pattern. And that's what they did because the city of Detroit was growing so fast. Oh, I remember the city of Detroit late no, 60s. Didn't. We went to the Grandy Ballroom no, all the didn't. time. No, saw all didn't. the classics. No, you didn't. The Grandy Ballroom, Jeff Beck, and Eric Clapton. And Kate. All right, so that is the... Um, I'm trying to find out where my track planner is that I just downloaded and why it's not showing up on my screen. What the heck is going on here? Oh, right here, Ultimate Racer 3.0. Okay, so Ultimate Racer 3.0, let's see here. Not responding, of course it's not responding. Programs never respond when you want them to respond, okay? LOL, stop it, Brian. LOL what? Hey, Ronnie, uh, Brian, uh, what do you mean, LOL, stop it, Brian? Okay, I don't lots know what that means. Lots, lots of, of laughs. laughs. I see, lots, okay. Or maybe saying lots of love, but lots of laughs, Brian, stop it. No, it's laugh out loud. Laugh out loud, that's it. I mean, there's some of He said, hey, Ron, email. All right, now why is this not working? Why is it that whenever I want to do something? No, uh, you should always remember to say, why should it? Hey, what goes in this bag? Hmm? What goes in this one? Um. Okay, you got this, this, or is it a certain amount that goes in here? This is this. This. Two bags are the hand bottles. Huh. Oh, gotcha, okay. So one hand throttle in each bag. Yep. All right, there we go. All right, so let's see, lay track editor. All right, now we have to find out what track we're going to do. Well, it's called Ultimate Racer 3.0. I, I really should have, I haven't really had a chance to to test it or anything um but i wanted to uh basically uh answer some of those questions people had had um do you want me to you want me to read the questions there for are no you? more questions oh, okay we no more questions i just wanted to help you read i don't need how i don't need to help i don't need to help <laughs> read <laughs> Uh, it's been a long day. I tell you, these days are just going right through. I mean, one day after another after another. I mean, we've got to get back to work. We've got to get punch. back. Fire Fucci, we got to get back. Fire Fucci. This got, guy is, oh, I don't want to go there right now because I don't want to get people upset. Because, let's um, not do it. But, um, so anyways, this is Brian Young, ProTicketToys.com, ProTicketToys.com. Hey, we're we're doing a live do? stream here. Um, we... Um, I'm, I, oh, I'm in talks to, uh, uh, there's about 100 WOS sets that are available. Um, uh, actually, there's more Did than that. There's about, 
You don't want to know. There's about 400 WOS sets: the Race Revolution and the Evolution and the uh, Full Fuel. Those are available, and I'm and I'm thinking of buying them, but I I want to make sure that there is a demand for them. It won't be. Ron Gardner says it won't be over until November 6th. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, Ron. I really needed that <laughs> email. Anyway, there's a potential that I can buy about 200 uh, uh, WOS sets. The Race Revolution and the Full Fuel. And that's really, the price that I'm getting them is a really good price. And you just, I mean, just as just a fun set, even if you can't expand it, too much the price I'm gonna have it is a really good price so those are some things that I'm working on right now whether I'm gonna get that plus I'm working at Auto World to buy there's I'm, I'm trying to buy out some more sets I'm always trying to buy good deals to pass those deals on to the consumer and uh, that's my goal did you show again, them the boars did they show again the I have to show you the uh, snake mongoose set and the snake mongoose cars these are absolutely beautiful. Hot Wheel. I mean, these are just beautiful cars. That's the yellow one. And this is the red one. I increased my order by 50 sets, so I'll be getting 100 sets. And they're coming in. Uh, they'll be hitting uh, the, po the, port of, um, the port of Washington on the 27th of April. And uh, they are going to be ready uh, for people to purchase. Well, this did you give uh, Tonio's? A, did he? Is, are they reading? That? Yeah, they're reading themselves. Okay. Um, I don't know if there was anything else that um, people had questions on. You know, it's all about slot cars and toy guns and did you have, uh, it, what, there was Legos. A, did you do and, the Green uh, Boris already? Uh, the Green Boris. Yeah, you no. take, did you take it apart out of no, the No, I already showed that. I showed okay. it a couple days ago. Well, then why can't we go up there and get it? Because I just sold one. And I just told them I sold another one. All of a sudden, they're selling really well, the Boris. Plus, I'm getting a restock on the Samurais. Those are phenomenal cars. Plus, well, they're selling well. Why don't you show it again to someone that uh, maybe... Because we've only got the same people, I think, that have seen it, all right? Well, um, you might Tony, have We've got only about three people, I think, that are viewing our... Uh, Dan Roach, uh, hi there. Uh, a way to have a lap counter with the WOS set. Is there a way to have a lap counter for the WOS set? Um, you can buy off or aftermarket lap counters. Basically, they're just a light sensor. As your car goes over it, it will register it. Now, um, SCX used to make a lap type system. Um, love the video. Okay, the Gillows. Uh, love the, uh, the live videos. Guys, keep me up. Great fun. Thank you very much. Uh, Ron says I paid someone to make and design an interface for WOS and a PC lab counter. I never got around to making more than three prototype. So if you want to contact Ron Gardner, you can. This guy, I don't want to say he's an absolute genius, but he's pretty darn close. I think he's a. I think he's an engineer. I, I think Ron's an engineer because he's really good with computers. Let's put it that way. I'm just going to say Ron is a. A, uh, just uh, you know it's kind of like you know it's kind of like when you wake up in the morning or you were born you were just born great at doing something Ron was just go born great with computers knowing how they they work and everything I'm not I just like to tinker okay now sometimes I can find out a problem but Ron you know he can find out the solution and everything so if I ever opened a if I ever you're bought, born you're born to eat oh my god <laughs> If I ever opened a slot car company, Ron would be my head of engineering. He yes. would just, I would hire him immediately, say, Ron, uh, you have Carche Blanche in the engineering system. Number one, I want it to run efficiently. I want it to be as inexpensive as possible, but I want it to, to work correctly. That's key. That'd be like Reggie with the uh, Shelby company. Yeah, uh, I need a power track. I burnt uh, mine. Uh, well, you need a... Uh, you need a power pack for the WOS. There are my white walls. 
Oh, yeah, they're your white walls. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's a white wall Mustang. It's a oh, Batmobile. Batmobile. But I'm not going to open that up well, just know, for you. But, but I know, but look at those white walls. Uh, I need a power. I think I have an extra power transformer if you need one. They're like $9.99. Send me an email or Put call me at 877-729-2009 tomorrow. And we'll work out a deal payment-wise if you need a transformer for your WOS. The old, the WOS is 14 volts. Let me make that clear. Your old... Your old digital is 18 volts, okay? So that's a big difference, all right? Uh, Don Ellis, Brian, I sent you an email a few weeks ago looking uh, for some uh, for your bu business card, flyers, etc. I'm trying to start a slot car club out in my town. There's no tracks in 50-mile radius of our town. Um, so you want some of my business cards. Okay, just send me another email with your address, St. Brian, and make it in bold letters, okay? Like, you know, like I'm... It's, it's an emergency because you you don't understand my day. Let me explain my day, okay? So just say Brian business cards. Okay, so I am basically 60 years old and <laughs> about five, I had six children already. My youngest one just left the house about two years ago. So my wife had a brilliant idea of becoming foster parents. And so uh, when we, so the way things always work in my life is it's always to the extreme. So most people, you know, when they are in the foster care, you know, they get one or two kids and, and you know, they they maybe adopt or they just foster, you know, you know. Well, I was on a business trip and all of a sudden I got an email from my mom, a wife saying, hey, I got four kids. You know, David uh, just got, was just born and we need to adopt them now. We need to uh, take them because nobody wants them because they're four children all at one time. Oh, really? So we got, I got home. And, and, and they're all just standing there. Mark is like, kind of like, I don't know, he's just kind of like, oh, where am I at, you know? And you remember that day? No, he doesn't. No, yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, you don't do. remember the first day being there. Yeah. You do? Yeah. You came through the f mom's front door. You came mom's front door? Yeah. Or my front door? The back door, you mean? You Sure, sure you came through right. the front door, mom's office, we were just standing there, yes. just sitting there. You had like this beard and mustache. I didn't, I didn't like have a beard and mustache. Yeah, you did. So anyways, my life is very complicated because I have four children under the age of 13. I and 13. So I'm, and I'm 60. Yeah, he's 13 now. Mark is 13. But he's a great kid. He's got A student, triple A. He pulled on his last emails. He's smarter than a whip. Everybody I just, does that in public education. I just wish that he would <laughs> learn to uh, keep his room clean. But I guess that's tr uh, a heredity. All right, can I uh, spam my uh, can I spam my website? LOL, I don't know what that. Um, no generic set. I need a track. Antonio, uh, pass it down to my nephew. Just get one of my uh, basic sets. Get the get. If you want just a big, give me one of the Amolas. Give me that Amola or the uh, Adrenaline. Give me that Adrenaline set. Say please. Please, watch out. There's one on top of it. Watch out, Mark. You're going to drop it. There's a set on top of it. If And this is the one we did a couple days ago. If you want a great set, okay, just for fun, okay, and you want to have a lot of fun, now don't put your email. If you want me to contact you, don't put an email on this thing because I'll forget it. you got to send me an email. This, get the Amola. Get here, set that on the table. I'm going to switch the camera. That's an adrenaline cup. Adrenaline cup. I'm going to switch the camera. Here, get the camera. All right, get that. All right, so, it got, uh, you know, somebody will say, okay, I just want to pass it down to my nephew. If you want to get a set and you just want to give it to somebody for Easter and they'll have a blast with it, that's the set right there. The Amola or the Adrenaline Cup. The Adrenaline Cup. Tilt it up because it's, it's uh, reflecting. There you go. That's perfect. The Adrenaline Cup. That is the set to get, period. What's that? Or, or if you want to get the uh, off-road set, that's another great set that you want to give to your friends. Just the off-road set. All right, so that answers that question. Um, back to what I was talking about, uh, contacting me, um, Dave Roach. Um, uh, Brian, I have a few minutes. Of, yeah, okay. Depends on cost. It will cost dollars for terminal track. 
pair park right this is they're talking uh, Ron is talking in between his friends about basically making your own system but if you can find one of the old um, all right so what was I talking about I have no idea I've been talking so many everybody's interrupting me so I have said I, a word I know you have all right so this is Brian Young with ProTinkerToys.com ProTinkerToys.com check out all the great deals hey and don't forget to like subscribe and give us thumbs up when you're watching our videos because then that gets us more people watching, okay? More people watching, they get more excited and they say, hey, you know, who are who is this Brian Young? Who's this nutcase on television on on um, um, yeah, I don't think we're online. That online and everything that they, they, they want to talk. Um, so let's see here. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got a, a Tago. Uh, hello, my friend. I I am your fan. Say hello to your friend here in Brazil. Oh, we got somebody in Brazil. Isn't that amazing? I'm always amazed how you could be talking to somebody completely across the world and they're watching my video. Okay, I think that's amazing. Hey, Brian, is there any way to make uh, Scale Electric NASCARs into a digital set? Yes, that's a good question. All right, so here's what you can do. All right, because we're going to be showing, I'm going to go get this. Let me switch the camera again. All right, so this is for Graham. All right, so this is. Hold on a second. Here, let's move up uh, the digital set here. Okay, you guys do that. I'll check the questions. Put that digital set up. That one right there. All right, so uh, SCI or Skin Electric makes a uh, an analog set, but they also make. Uh, uh, all their cars okay so this is the this is the stock car challenge but they also make digital sets but all of their cars okay this is a this is one of their uh, generic NASCARs okay it's one of their generic NASCARs let me turn this light oh get you a better shot here So this is one of our generic NASCARs, and by di you can digitize this car. So if you bought one of their digital sets, all right, if you bought one of their digital sets, you then can take all their generic NASCARs and digitize them, okay? Now, here's the, and I told this to uh, Justin at, at Scale Electric, here's the problem with this set. This is a tri-oval set, all right? Can you see that? Good picture. You see the layout they've got? It's a tri-oval. What, can anybody tell me what the problem is with that layout? It does not have any switch tracks. Or just basic switch tracks. Or they're called crossover tracks. Here's a crossover track from scale SCX. That's a crossover track with SCX. Well, if you're racing this layout right here in this stock car challenge, the outside lane is always going to be faster. But if you have a crossover, then, the, then that guy on one end, he's going to be on the outside lane. The other one's going to be in the inside lane. So it equals out the layout. All right. Now, when we're talking the converter tracks and getting scale electric cur converter tracks or using old uh, SCX track, you're going to be able to use all this onto this layout. But to just buy this layout... You're going to need a uh, crossover track or switch track or crossover track to equalize the layout in this set. But getting back to the guy saying, can you digitize? These cars can be digitized uh, with their universal, with their chip that goes right in here. Goes right in there. Connects right to here. And now this car will be able to run digital. And we're going to show you that. Here in a couple weeks, once we get, once Scale Electric is up and running, because right now they're all shut down because of the crony virus. Nobody is working, which I don't know how long. I don't how, know how long you can have a country of 320 million people where basically 200 million of them are not working. It's called supply and demand. It's basically, you know, I get money. It, you're making money to create taxes. You know, if you don't have anybody making money, um, then you have a problem with uh, having taxes. Yeah, there's no sales. There's no, there's no, sales, no tax. sales. There's no tax. No sales okay? tax. And so that's what that's what pro, uh, keeps this economy going is, quote, sales tax taxes. and taxes. 
Okay, if you're not working, you're not paying into Social Security, you're not paying anything in, this has got to change, people, but I'm not going to get off on a tangent right now because I want to, but I'm not going to. So, any questions? Any, uh, was that a... Okay. So far, same. All right, so that is what you can do. Is you can digitize this uh, scale electric car uh, and run it on uh, their digital sets. That's pretty sweet. So this is their uh, this is their stock car challenge. We're going to do this stock car challenge probably tomorrow. Set this one up and show you how the outside lane is always the slower than the inside lane because it's just basic physics. It's numbers. The inside lane is a shorter distance than the outside lane, and so I don't know why they this is see this is a prime example of the engineers not talking to sales. Okay, when they made something, hey, we'll just put the strike tower. Oh, okay, well. Well, what about the track? Well, they don't. They won't know. They're just stupid customers. Well, actually, they're not stupid customers. They're they're actually pretty smart because they buy your product, okay? And that's what they they want to do. And so when you turn them off, maybe they don't want to buy your stuff anymore. And so anyway, that's the uh, the deal on that. We're gonna be doing more videos. I just I don't have everything I want for Scale Electric Digital so that I can actually show you the the whole encompass and how we're going to do this, okay? Uh, because we're going to be putting packages together of a digital set plus a couple chips, the converter track, uh, and I'm going to throw in some sw uh, scale electric switches to where you're going to have an entire uh, 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 compass of the product so you'll be able to really do a sweet layout, okay? That's one thing. Um, so I don't have that right now, so I can't really do what I want to do. Yes? Do the scale electric have a pit lane accessory yes, track? Yes, yes. That is their... Um, that's from Kelly. Yes, they do. That is their um, pro system to where your cars can pull in and refuel. Can you buy those? Can you get them? You yeah, know? I have those sets. Those are more expensive, and we're going to be listing those. I just don't are want... they listed? No, they're not on our site yet. Okay. I don't have them yet, but they are get... I am getting those. That but they do a have pit lane accessories. Yes, track. exactly. That's cool. So, um, I think that's about it for today. I just wanted to kind of go over some quick things for our customers I uh, just some more just fun times if you ever have any questions or you want um, uh, a certain topic on slot cars just send us an email uh, at, we got five more minutes oh professor professor tinker dot said uh, to gmail I think it is now just look and like don't forget to like and subscribe us okay and uh, so we can get back with you and um, have fun now Let's get back to something I talked about about three weeks ago. That is the slot car fest. So I want to do a slot car fest, and it will probably take place at uh, uh, Perrysburg, uh, the Levitt's Commons. That's Levitt's Commons, Ohio, or Levitt's Commons, Perrysburg, Ohio, at the Hilton. And we're going to do a, a giant slot car fest. I'm going to bring every slot car set that I have, a good sample of all my cars, and we're going to just set up tracks all over the, the uh, uh, showroom, or it's basically a ballroom or a convention center. And, uh, and we want anybody that, that uh, wants to set up, there's going to be two types of people that are coming. Customers that are just wanting to have fun, and then there are going to be, I'm going to call them the retailers, or like your collectors that maybe want to have a table set up of all their stuff that they've collected or that they want to uh, sell. Some collectors have stuff they like to sell. So those are going to be, we're going to offer two tables for those type that just want to sell or se uh, uh, show and sell, um, or just want to just show, okay? And then all of my stuff's going to be set up. All right, so, so customers could come in, they could look around, and, oh, look at these different vendors. So those vendors need to contact me that want to sell and show. We're going to call it sell and show. Uh, they need to contact me say, hey, yes, Brian, I want you to put me down as a yes, I'll be there. I don't know when it's going to be. Uh, based After November 2nd. <laughs> if this thing doesn't end by April 15th, it's, we're in trouble. Um we're going to, um, it'll be a weekend starting a Friday night. It'll start Friday night from 9 to midnight. It's going to be a midnight race. We're just going to race till midnight. And then the next day is when the whole thing will officially start. We're going to be giving away sets. We're going to sell all the demo sets at a, at a great price. I'll have all the sets there for sale. You'll be able to buy everything, sell everything, trade, 
and uh, it's just going to be a fun day for for families to come. The price will probably be ten dollars for a family, and then uh, five dollars or three dollars per person. So uh, that is what my vision is. So it's going to be called Slot Car Fest, okay? Pro Tinker, uh, Pro Tinker Toys .com, Slot Car Fest, and we're, uh, if this thing goes over big. We're just going to do it every year and even bigger and bigger and to, to, to one. My main goal is to get everybody excited about slot cars again. Slot cars are a fun hobby. And we want everybody to be excited about slot cars. So if you know anybody that sells and trades, you know anybody that wants to come and attend, have them contact me. Send me an email at pro. Uh, I think it's professtink at uh, gmail. Professtink at gmail. Contact me. Name, address, phone number, so I can reach out and start to uh, build a a, uh, a group of people and and How much get. How tickets will be? I said fifteen. Don't do that. I said ten dollars. Family. And Three dollars uh, a person. Three dollars a person. It's going to be a fun time. I guarantee you'll have a blast. It, it'll, it'll be so much fun. You're going to say, why didn't we do this before? And then we'll have another one every year. We're going to do them every year. So, Slot Car Fest 2020. Don't know when yet because I uh, don't know really when the world is going to ever turn back on. And if it doesn't, we're in bigger trouble than we think. This is Brian Young with ProTinkerToys.com, ProTinkerToys.com. Wait, what time is it? It's 5 o'clock. I want to thank everybody for participating today. Uh, again, I appreciate everybody that watches. Don't forget to give us thumbs up, like us, and subscribe to, uh, to my website. And I appreciate everybody that participates. Thank you and have a great day. God bless. Now, do I hit end stream? Yep, end stream. Thank you.